Hello friends, this video on Amines part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So in fact, aryl amines are weaker than ammonia. So the strength I have is I have alkyl amine. And then I have ammonia. And then I have aryl amine. This is the strength. Why? Because and this is uh, weaker, that means PKB is more, right? PKB is more for a for Rylan. That is, I think, is clear, right? PKB is more, that means it is less basic. Why? Because if you see this aryl amines, you take aniline for example, this is electron withdrawing group. Since it's electron withdrawing group, right? So they make this less basic because the electron density is less in the nitrogen. Nitrogen will not react much. Also, if you see, for example, let's assume that this reacts. Let's assume this reaction happens, and you get NH3 plus. Now, if you see, since it's an electron withdrawing group, it will withdraw electron from this nitrogen. And nitrogen has positive charge and it will make it all the more positive this is unstable so if output is unstable do you think the reaction will happen no obviously no the output is unstable the reaction won't happen that means this reaction won't happen that much if you use a very strong acid then it's a different scenario altogether but this reaction won't happen so with this also you can say that it is very very less basic thylamine also, if you want, we can, and thus this is less basic than even ammonia. The PKB value of this aryl amine is in the range of 9 to 10. But as I told for ammonia, it was something around 4.2 or something. Yeah. So this is even less basic than ammonia. And also, if you want to see why, if you see this, this NH2, this is my input, let me draw structures now. So let me draw the resulting structure of input. So for the input, I have NH2. So let me draw how many structures I can draw. NH2 with the lone pair. This goes off, this comes off. So what you get is a double bond here. NH2 with a positive charge. Here you get a negative charge. And this bond again moves in this direction. So what you get here is one more structure and it's to be the positive charge this bond comes this bond comes with a negative charge here again this bond moves in this direction so what you get here is nh2 plus and this bond moves so you get something like this and again this bond moves back here so what you get is nh2 here and what you get here is this this and this so if you see there are those one, two, three, four, five structures, correct? If you talk about the output, let me draw the structure of output now. So if you see the structure of output is NH3 plus, they are not many, in fact only two you can draw actually. One is in this direction, the other is, you can flip it, it is this, this and this. So from 5 to 2. So this has 5 structure, this has 2. Do you think this reaction will happen? No, because the more the resulting structure, the more stable is the compound. That means this reactant is more stable. The product is not that stable. So with that logic also you see, you can see that the output is not that stable. So this reaction will not happen that much. Correct? Let's take one question here. So we have we have to find the basic strength of three compounds. I have my NS2 here. I have CH3 here. I have just NS2 here. And I have NS2 here. And I have NO2 attached here. All are benzene ring. So you tell which one is more basic. Which one is more basic. So if you see, compare these three. NO2 group is what? NO2 group is electron 
withdrawing group cs3 group is electron releasing group right so end of the day the more electrons ns2 has the more basic is the compound so if you see this is doing nothing this is withdrawing electron see benzene is common to all so you can ignore the benzene part right anyway benzene is electron withdrawing but you can just ignore the benzene part the only three difference is there is nothing here there is hydrogen here there is no2 here there is cs3 here hydrogen is doing nothing cs3 is withdrawing electron no2 is CS3 is giving electron, NO2 is withdrawing electron. We need more electrons at N. So with that, this has the maximum. Because here, nitrogen will get some more electrons by this CS3 indirectly. NO2 will take electrons, so NO2 will take electrons from the nitrogen. This will be least. And this will be in middle. So this one will be most basic. Hope you understood why. Because this part, benzene part was common to all, so just ignore that part, but these are three different things. Here you have hydrogen, here you have CS3, here you have NO2. NO2 is electron withdrawing group, CS3 is electron releasing and hydrogen is doing nothing. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.